Hello and welcome back to Anywhere But Here. Today we're visiting the Magnolia State and taking a look at the 10 worst cities in Mississippi. Using metrics like crime, income, education, and cost of living, we've compiled our list of the 10 cities or towns that you probably wouldn't want to live in. Let's get started. Number 10. Laurel. The HGTV show Hometown highlights the revitalization of Laurel, Mississippi, and it really needs it. The TV show makes Laurel appear as a cute small rural town. What it doesn't show you is that the town of almost 18,000 people is one of the most dangerous cities in Mississippi. There are nearly seven violent crimes per 1,000 residents. In 2019, there were two murders, 14 reported rapes, and 88 aggravated assaults. One in 23 residents will be the victim of a property crime. In addition, 30% of Laurel residents live in poverty, and the schools are average at best, ranking 103 of 210 cities in Mississippi. Number 9. Meridian. Another incredibly dangerous city is the eastern Mississippi city of Meridian. Residents here are twice as likely to be the victim of a violent crime than the rest of Mississippi. And in 2019, there were 14 murders in Meridian, the second highest number in the state behind only Jackson that has five times as many residents. One out of 25 residents will be the victim of a property crime. Per capita income is $22,000, which is middle income for Mississippi, but 28.7% of Meridian residents live below the poverty line, and schools here are slightly below average, ranking 119 out of 210. Number 8. Greenville. Located in the Mississippi Delta, Greenville is home to just under 30,000 residents. A recent visit to Greenville's website showed this pop-up message about raw sewage being dumped into the Mississippi River, so there's that. Poop water aside, not much else is that great here either. Unemployment is 8.5%, more than twice the national average, and over 35% of Greenville residents live in poverty. Greenville schools rank 169 out of 210, and the crime index is a 3 meaning it's in the bottom 3% of safe cities in the United States. The violent crime rate here is lower than the Mississippi average, but property crime is high. 1 in 19 residents will be the victim of a property crime. That is more than double the Mississippi average. Number 7. Vicksburg. Located at the confluence of the Mississippi and Yazoo Rivers, Vicksburg has a population of over 21,000 and that number has dropped by almost 5,000 people since the year 2000. Once one of the most important port cities of the Civil War, Vicksburg has clearly seen better days. Today, over 30% of its residents live below the poverty line, unemployment is almost 8%, and per capita income is under $20,000 per year, which is 10% below the state average. The crime index in Vicksburg is a three, so it's not very safe. And in 2019, there were three homicides among the 144 violent crimes reported. The property crime rate was double the state average, and residents had a 1 in 19 chance of being the victim of some kind of theft. Number 6. Jackson. The city of Jackson is the capital of Mississippi. Per capita income here is just over $21,000 a year, which is right at the state average and only 27% of its residents live at or below the poverty line. The population in Jackson is 160,000, down 7.5% since 2010, and it's been steadily declining since 1980. The population decline is mostly blamed on white flight, but most of the people that leave have simply moved to the suburbs of Jackson and essentially still reside in the metropolitan area, which is home to 20% of the entire state's population. In 2020, the city of Jackson's murder rate was 79.7 out of 100,000 residents, making it the second highest in the U.S. among large cities, behind only St. Louis. Jackson's 128 homicides contributed greatly to its violent crime rate that is three times the Mississippi average. On top of all this, schools in Jackson aren't very good either, ranking 168 out of 210. Number 5. Greenwood. 100 miles north of Jackson and on the eastern edge of the Mississippi Delta, Greenwood is home to 13,000 residents. 
Greenwood's population has been on a steady decline since 1970, and there are plenty of reasons why. The unemployment rate is 8.2%, more than double the national average. Poverty is really high. 37.7% of the population live in poverty, and the schools rank 171 out of 210 towns or cities in Mississippi. The crime index for Greenwood is 3 with both violent crime and property crime rates a little over double the state average. Greenwood, and this part of Mississippi in general, is full of history, both good and bad, but really outside of the scope of what we do here. But for lovers of history, a trip to Google would be well worth it. Number 4. Holly Springs 7,800 people live at the northern edge of Mississippi in the town of Holly Springs more like Poverty Springs. In a state that is notorious for low income, the lowest of all the 50 states, the per capita income in Holly Springs is $13,284, which is also the lowest of any Mississippi city with a population over 7,500. Unemployment in Holly Springs hovers around 6.5%, nearly double the national average. Holly Springs schools rank 167 out of 210 according to schooldigger.com. Crime in Holly Springs is a problem as well. The crime index is 6, so it's better than most cities or towns on this list, but the violent crime rate is high at nearly 14 crimes per 1,000 residents. It is five times higher than the state average. Number 3. Indianola Indianola in northwest Mississippi is down to 9,000 residents. In the year 2000, the population was over 12,000. A 25% decrease over 20 years is pretty significant. The closing of a Delta Pride catfish processing plant in 2011 following a lengthy labor dispute likely contributed significantly to this decline. Unemployment in Indianola is over 9%, three times the national average. With a crime index of one, it is also among the least safe cities in the United States with residents five times as likely to be the victim of a violent crime than residents of Mississippi as a whole. Per capita income is only $16,840, which is low even for Mississippi. And finally, the schools in Indianola are terrible, ranking 194 out of 210 cities in Mississippi. Number 2. Yazoo City Only about 11,000 people remain in Yazoo City over 30% less than there were in the year 2000. Yazoo City is no stranger to bad luck. In the 1800s, a yellow fever outbreak decimated the population. In the 1900s, an errant match caused a fire that burned down nearly the entire town. And in 2010, the town was struck by multiple tornadoes causing massive damage and killing four people. On top of all of this, the per capita income is only $13,622, so lots of people here are poor. The poverty rate is 42.6%. Nearly half of Yazoo City lives in poverty. Unemployment, as you might expect, is high here as well at 7.7%. The schools in Yazoo City are the worst on this list, ranking just behind Indianola at number 196 of 210. One bright spot is that crime isn't particularly bad here. The crime index is 12, so it isn't great, but both the violent and property crime rates are pretty close to the Mississippi average. And this brings us to our number one worst city in Mississippi, Macomb. Realtors in Macomb, Mississippi will say it has great neighborhoods, robust business, scheduled Amtrak service, and a beautiful surrounding landscape. But that can be said about almost any city of its size. However, the surface doesn't always reveal what's inside. Macomb, and Pike County in general, have a dark past revolving around racial violence and the civil rights movement that linger today. But it's when you look at the statistics where you see just how bad things are in Macomb. There are over 12,000 residents in Macomb and over 47% of them live below the poverty line. Unemployment is double the national average at over 7%, and per capita income is only $16,250. The crime index in Macomb is 2, meaning it's less safe 
than 98% of U.S. cities. The violent crime rate is almost triple the state average, and residents have a 1 in 18 chance of being the victim of some kind of property crime. The schools in Macomb are bad, ranking 173 out of 210. Taking this all into account, there is one other thing to remember. Macomb is relatively close to the Gulf of Mexico and located almost directly north of New Orleans, which puts it right in the path of most of the hurricanes that seem to hit New Orleans every year. I guess that's why the cost of living in Macomb is so low. We want to thank you for watching. As always, we encourage you to leave comments. Did we leave out a city that should be on the list? Or is there a city you don't think should be included? We love hearing from you. If you enjoy our videos, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you will know when new videos have been released. Thanks again, and always have fun.